Hello everybody. New week, which means new sales, which means new what sold video. All right, so today, Monday, February 13th. I waited till Monday to ship. Normally I ship Sunday nights. Um, just, you know, watching the Super Bowl, having some junk food. No motivation after that. So, <laughs> we are here, Monday afternoon. Gonna do some shipping. Um, two marketplaces, Poshmark and eBay. And I'll get this out of the way. We said we were making, we we're doing a experiment with Posh or VA. Well, a, another company uh, reached out to us and uh, actually has given us a reason to push their product. So, I'm going to put that, the product is called Sidekick, and uh, let me get it exactly right. I wasn't actually expecting to plug that here, but I will just because. Um, it's called Posh Sidekick, and it's a uh, app that goes on your phone, and rather than having a uh, extension on your browser and having to have a computer on all the time. This is all on here, and I'll be honest with you, since we've started using Posh Sidekick, Poshmark sales have gone go a little crazy. So last weekend using Posh or VA, we sold four things. This weekend using Posh Sidekick, one, two, three, four. We had one that we double sold. So, but we won't count it. Five, six, and seven. So seven total items from going out um, from Poshmark and only using Posh Sidekick for about half the week. But all the sales did come when we were using that uh, virtual assistant. So, um, am I saying that they are magical and you're going to get so many sales from them? No, I'm not. What I'm saying is, is that so far out of the three that we've tried, Posh or VA Flip and Posh Sidekick, this one seems to be working the best. And I think it has something a little bit to do with how they share, but that's for a different time. Um, if you guys are interested in Posh Sidekick, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video below, as well as uh, the promo code you can use um, for 10% off. So uh, use the link and the promo code, 10% off. We'll, make, we'll be pretty happy about it. Um, anyways, just a little quick uh, shout out for them and also let you know we've sold a lot more than normal on Poshmark. Uh, we'll get started on Poshmark. We sold uh, this Funko Pop. It's a Minion Funko Pop. If, if you see those, unless you get them for quarters, just walk by them because they're, um, there's a lot of them. I mean, I'm sure there are rare ones. This one's not one of the rare ones. It's just him as a pirate or whatever. Nine bucks for that plus shipping. Uh, we sold a bra, a brazier, if you will. Victoria's Secret bra, um, size 38, sorry, 36C lace Victoria's Secret bra, 18 bucks plus shipping. Also, and I'm not going to say it, but you know what, oh, there's the other sale right there. Uh, towel, Snoopy towel, right there, is he upside down? No. Okay, Joe Cool Snoopy towel, this is not working out, there you go. Joe Cool, Snoopy Tao, uh, probably from the 90s, I'd say, uh, 17 bucks plus shipping on Poshmark, and then also this Dickies uh, new dead stock, old dead stock, made in Nicaragua, so not super old Dickies, um, still has Dickies.com on the back of it, so just dead stock Dickies, uh, that sold for $21 plus shipping, and then we also sold a bundle of two... Um, I guess you call them blouses. They're, uh, this time and true button down blouse, size extra large, and then this star, uh, concepts button down blouse. I'm sorry, in INC International Concepts is the brand on this. Uh, so $14 for the star one, $8 for this one. Um, so pretty good bundle there. And we also sold some lotion. Um, leftover from when Sarah did Avon. This is Skin So Soft Lotion. This is a couple tubes of it. Uh, I think three to be exact. Two. Two. 
ten dollars plus shipping. So uh, pretty good. Not bad sales for us on Poshmark. Moving over to eBay, much better than last week because. <laughs> I was a little worried about us there last week. Uh, but we uh, managed to scrape out a decent week over the weekend. So, okay with it. Um, something, again, we, we did, we took your guys' advice from the live and put the uh, buy more and save, save up to 20% when you buy four or more postcards. And someone came through and bought a bunch of them. Uh, well, a bunch. One with a total of eight postcards right here. Uh, $39 plus shipping. So not bad there. We sold a lot of ephemera this weekend, as you can see. It's all right here. Uh, it doesn't look like a ton, but it actually is. Uh, and uh, some high dollar stuff. And we're going to start with one right here, if I could find it. This is a young girl, very long hair, plaid dress, cabinet card. Pretty cool right there. 15 bucks plus shipping for her. And then we sold... Uh, Sold a bunch of these. I'm going to try and figure out exactly which one this is. We sold four of these. These are Disney Country Bear Jamboree. And these are the original draw. Well, not the original. They're copies of the original drawing, which the ride, and there may have been a movie, I don't know, um, was based on these drawings. So there's, uh, what do we got? Uh, old Gomer playing the piano there. And then there's uh, two more back here. So this person bought three for a total of $36 plus shipping, um, which is good. And then an RPPC postcard right here. It's just a couple sitting on a blanket, probably having a picnic uh, and not smiling because nobody smiled back then. You didn't smile for photos. You just, that was it. 12 bucks for the RPPC. So real photo postcard. Another cabinet card, this guy. This fly outfit he's got and his hat and his umbrella. Twelve fifty plus shipping. We got girl on a swing cabinet card right here. Pretty cool. All about content. Ten bucks plus shipping. Then we sold a lot. A, a lot, not a lot. Um, meaning a lot of. Uh, a lot of 150 continental postcards. Now these are big, bigger than bigger than the older postcards of so not five by three and a half. Um, they're bigger and they're newer. So this is 87 Chicago. They're not worth a lot of money. We don't really sell them individually. We do this. When we get enough of them, 150 postcards, 20 bucks. Have a nice day. And that's what happened. <laughs> so um, we sold more old photos this is that bank of minneapolis bank of commerce we think but we're not sure 15 dollars plus shipping so did one cabbie slow on the cabbies this weekend sarah didn't have a lot in stock anyways so uh, we're waiting on some shipments that are slowed but this little girl did so she's a 1980s cabbage patch corn silk with the tongue head mold um not as valuable uh, I wouldn't say it's any more or less valuable than the other ones. 27, sorry. 27.50. Blood shipping. <clears throat> Sold a sweater. Cardigan. Brown. Uh, this is a. What do we got? Market Spruce. Market and Spruce. Extra large stitch fix brand. So, 10 bucks plus shipping. We sold another one of those. So, there, there was the ones that someone came through and bought. Uh, a bunch of them, and then somebody just bought one of these. This is that Country Bear Jamboree again. Um, you see these postcards out there. They seem to be worth the money. 12 bucks plus shipping. They were selling between 9 and 15 so I put them at 12 thinking, yeah, we'll see what happens, and it seems to be working. So, uh, And then the last one that sold was this one here, another Country Bear Jamboree. Uh, 12 bucks plus shipping, and I'll show you the back. You do want to look out for me. These are Walt Disney World. I think they, they also made postcards with Disneyland on the top. Um, same general idea though. 12 bucks for that one plus shipping. So this, which just looks like a disaster. Um, it's a bunch of men plowing a field. And then it's, I don't even know if that's a lens flare or just scratches. I think it's a lens flare. Um, action shots were hard to come by back in the day because you had a lot to set up to take this picture. So. Uh, 10 bucks plus shipping though for that. 
Remember those socks uh, from my Instagram? These wigwam socks? These are a bolo. If you see them, get them. Some of them are worth more than others. Um, this is size 10 wigwam socks. Someone came through and bought all three packs. $39 plus shipping for these socks. So um, $9 into $39. $30 profit. Not bad. So some linens, of course. Uh... I don't know how to pronounce that brand. I'm not even going to attempt it. That brand with this flower pattern, um, 60 by 80, queen sheet, 1750 plus shipping. I had someone come through and buy a whole bunch of photos. There's uh, all these photos. A pair of two, um, and then a big Christmas one, and then a boy and his uh, father fishing, 2350 plus shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Tuesday. February 14th. Not a bad day. Last week sucked. This week's been good. So, whatever. Um, two marketplaces, Macari and eBay. Macari just had a tank top for eight dollar sell. Nike tank top. In fact, uh, it came from uh, something we did the other day. Well, I did. Um, but it was Sarah's idea, so I guess it's kind of both of our idea. I don't know. Anyways, uh, see all these bins behind me? Well, the ones on the top shelf up here. Went through all of them. Made sure everything was listed. And came across like four or five things that weren't listed. Of those four or five things, like four things sold. <laughs> nah, three. Three. Yeah, tank top and two shirts. So, three. My bad. But yeah. So, check out your inventory. Probably have some stuff that some jerk didn't pay for. And now it's just sitting there. But anyways, yeah, $8 tank top, Nike tank top on Macari. Uh, moving over to eBay, we sold more of our ephemera lots right here. This is a 50-piece ephemera set uh, lot, 12 bucks plus shipping. Um, sold some travel brochures as well. And they are here. Travel brochures from AAA. Uh, that one's not AAA. That's a different one. I thought that was a AAA. There's a AAA one in here. Uh, back in the day, we used to get maps to find a way to get around, and that's what these are. Uh, ten fifty for those plus shipping. Sold a socket, Craftsman half inch drive, twenty one millimeter socket, right here. Twelve twenty five plus shipping. Sold a fair amount of ephemera to one person. And it's in here somewhere. Here it is. Uh, they got a postcard, a bunch of photos. Yeah, postcard and a bunch of photos. There's a guy on the front there laughing it up, talking on his phone with the TV. On the, I swear my grandmother had that exact table with a doily on it. Anyways, um, they got one, two, three, four, five things. 36 bucks plus shipping. Gotta love that. Uh, we've been having that happen quite a bit lately, which is good for us. Sold a towel. I'm not even going to bother telling you, but it's this one. Uh, towel. <laughs> it's Grammy smelling. Um, gone by towels. Mid-century modern towel uh, with the fringe. Ten bucks. Plus shipping. Next up, sold a cabinet card. Girl with long hair. Did we talk about, I swear, I, did we sell, did we have two of these long hair cabinet car girls? Okay. Next up, probably looks familiar, and I was just confused. If, maybe I'll put the outtakes in, maybe not, who knows. But, um, for love of Pete. Next up, this, and, um. Uh, <laughs> several outtakes already on this one item because I was confused as you can see if you just watched well you just watched Monday and this should look really familiar that's because we have two of them and I didn't know that um, two same girl long hair plaid dress Hobart Springfield um, studio sold again 15 bucks plus shipping she's a popular girl apparently sold this Sarah got this at a thrift store. Or no, at an antique mall. Little baby doll. She's porcelain. So she's kind of fragile. Cupie baby doll. Uh, 2.5 inch. Sold for $16 plus shipping. So sometimes you can find some decent stuff at uh, 
at antique malls and we go every now and again not frequently but uh we do if there's one nearby we'll stop next up this is a victorian uh, morning funeral cabinet card so they would publish these when you died so kind of like the prayer cards they have or like death announcements this is a cabinet card uh somebody died in 1888 lula may gideon died uh, oh, it's a baby. That's sad. One year, six months, twelve days. Um, sad. Um, <laughs> this is so. Uh, it's going to sound so heartless, but these sell really well. We every time we find these, they sell in an hour. So um, keep an eye out for them. Ten bucks plus shit. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Wednesday, February 15th, and a good day today. Really good day today. Um, three marketplaces, the Daily Cabbage, Poshmark, and eBay, of course. Uh, starting with the Daily Cabbage. We sold a cabbage patch. I know. Surprising. This little girl. Um, she is a 2004 cabbage patch crimp hair yellow lavender sweatsuit cabbage patch sweatsuit she's a little crazy um sarah's running a 25 or a, yeah 25 percent off sale with code daily cabbage 23 only till friday so if you're seeing this on saturday you missed out um 19 dollars and 88 cents sorry 19 dollars and 88 cents what should we moving over to poshmark Odd sales today on Poshmark. We sold two ephemera packs on Poshmark. <laughs> uh, yeah, two ephemera packs on Poshmark. Uh, both for 15 bucks plus shipping. So that's pretty good. And then something that's going to be just a load of fun to ship. We sold this. It's a cassette holder. We bought a whole bunch of cassettes last year. Sometime we sold them all already but th this was the holder and these are valuable believe it or not because where are you going to find something like this now you're not because they don't sell them so they are kind of valuable they are a big pain in the butt to ship uh and you're they're not fast sellers you're looking for the right person that's going to want to spend the money on these because they are valuable 75 dollars for this plus shipping how about that pretty cool just a piece of wood 75 bucks plus shipping on Poshmark, it's going to be enjoyable, to say the least. Next up, move over to eBay and sell some, an ephemera pack on there for $11 plus shipping. So that's pretty cool. Um, we sold some other stuff. We sold a, a ratchet, and this guy's actually buying both of these, so I'll just show them both to you. Um, they're not ratchets, they're sockets. They're vintage sockets. Half inch drive craftsman sockets. There's this one, and then there's this one. Uh, what size do we got here? We got uh, one, one sixteenth. Seems a little small, and then one eighth. Yeah, right here. Uh, Twenty five bucks a, a piece plus shipping. And then it sold. Finally, and they paid for it. There it is. Take a good look. The last time you probably see it. This is Jerry in Wonderland Grateful Dead shirt. Size medium. 100 bucks. That's right. $100. $39 less than the last time it sold. But the last time they didn't pay for it. So I guess it's still a win. And it is. Um, we paid $75 for both of them. Sold one for 200 and one for 100 So I'd say that's a pretty successful flip right there. So... Anyways, it's sold. It's going out of here. $100 plus shipping. More cabbies. There's this little girl. 2016 cabbie. Um, she is uh, brown hair, blue eyes. Cabbie. She sold for $20. Plus shipping. And then we sold a puzzle. Um, if we find sealed puzzles, we take a second look. I wouldn't say we grab them, because that's not true at all. Um, we'll grab them if the soul comps are good, and the soul comps aren't 
from 2020 because the prices for puzzles went nuts during the pandemic. So you want to kind of throw those out the window and then look at more recent soul comps and then you'll find, you know, true soul comps. And they're not fast sellers either. $15 for the shells puzzle plus shipping. And it is still sealed. It's got a little dent in the box, but that's about it. Had to do a little battery change there. Next up, another big sale. Uh, <laughs> it's a crate. It's a daily cabbage crate. Sarah made this. She painted it uh, green and then put all these little like leaves on it. Yeah, all by hand. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to put a cabbage patch sticker on the other side of it. Uh, $75 for this plus shipping to one of her very loyal customers. For those of you that may want one, you're going to have to be fast or ask her to make you one. Um, and she will, I'm sure. But, yeah, they go really quick. They don't even really make it to anything but eBay. So, um, And then that same person bought a cabbie. But this cabbie. Right here. Um, this is a 1980s Cabbage Patch uh, with puppy dog footy pajamas. Sold for $23. Bless you, me. We did have something cool happen. I listed a ton of these large letter postcards. I'll show you them right there. That's greetings from Hollywood, California. Um, and then we've got uh, Marine Corps Base in San Diego, Yosemite, uh, Southern California. I always thought this one was kind of funny because it just says Southern California, which could be anywhere. But uh, yeah, these large letter postcards listed a whole bunch of them. Someone came through and bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all together uh, for four dollars and twenty-five cents a piece. You can do the math. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool uh, when people come and buy large amounts of them. And we do have a uh, uh, twenty percent off if you buy more than four, so that'll entices people. Next up sold this cabbage patch uh, fireman's romper precious I think it's got a little dog on it precious 10 bucks plus shipping it's a little license plate getting down to it with these license plates but a uh, good example of one that is not been restored but still has a lot of patina on it it's rusted <laughs> we'll say like everything else in this state it rusts because we use a ton of salt. This is a steel license plate um, from 1926 Pennsylvania license plate. 25 bucks. Plus you listed a whole bunch of cabinet cards uh, recently as well. And we sold this one with a husband and wife. They don't look happy, that's for sure. Uh, 10 bucks. Plus shipping on that. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Thursday, February 16th. And uh, today was good too. Putting together a good week. <laughs> um, sales on all three marketplaces. Well, all three. There is another one. Actually, there's two more. Well, not anymore. Deleted all the grailed stuff today. It's not worth the time. Um, so, Macari, Poshmark, and eBay all have sales. Um, start with Macari, and we sold a candy, a boy, yay, so exciting, uh, I don't know why, but the boys just aren't popular, um, I like it, look, he's got a little train jacket on, some pants that Sarah put on, some socks, uh, yeah, anyways, he sold for $20. We also sold <laughs> random um, this Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad Company pamphlet on Macari, and then and, and, and you know that okay. I mean, it, we don't sell a lot of ephemera on Macari. Most of it isn't on there. This was just a kind of one that kind of snuck through. I think it was on when we first started like cross listing. And uh, I think it's been on there for a while. But anyways, here it is. Uh, $10 plus shipping for that. 
And then, last of Macari. I know, Macari coming alive. We sold this Abercrombie and Fitch uh, hoodie right here. It says it on the, on the sleeve, and then it's got the old logo on it. 20 bucks plus shipping for that. Move over to Poshmark. Only one sale on Poshmark today, and it's this, um, what is it? Bell Kim Gravel shirt. It's like a thermal style uh, camo shirt. Size large, 16 bucks for this, plus shipping. And that is it for those platforms. Move over to eBay, where obviously the bulk of our sales are. Starting with another old PA license plate. This is from 1918. This thing looks heavy. It is. Some solid steel there. Um, 25 bucks plus shipping for that. Someone came through and bought a bunch of pictures from our local amusement park called Kennywood. Um, Kennywood's kind of a family owned uh, theme park. It's been here forever, and uh, it's popular. Uh, it's not a, you know, Six Flags or anything, but it's, it's alright. So anyways, these are some old photos from there. Uh, $65 plus shipping for all of those. And then we had somebody else come through and buy... Uh, they bought three of these postcards. They bought... This one, Mount Dora, Florida. Don't know where that is, uh, but it was a rare one. Ten twenty-five for that one postcard, and then um, Monterey, California, Sarasota, California. So this one and this one together, thirteen twenty-five plus shipping. And then we got two one-offs. Um, we got this Lompac. California for 350 um, but anyways you get the picture and then somebody just bought this one for 750 so these big letter postcards uh, are great and they've been selling really really well uh, really quickly I just started listing them two days ago and uh, we've already sold quite a bit we've paid for the album by now so pure profit as they say there uh, let's see we got uh, someone bought these two photos this is a kid getting some stuff for his birthday with a birthday cake and then we've got um, oh, wait a minute wrong photos there we go kid getting stuff with the birthday cake and then this photo here uh, it's just like a I guess a picture of all the toys I don't know toys that they got for birthday or toys in general I don't know both of those pictures together $22 even Sold some shoes. This is a. This is where we get. It's a stiletto heels, or a pump. Do we call this a pump? This is a pump. It says pump on here. Size nine. These are Rock Republic. Found these at the thrift store. We went back to see what we can get for ninety nine cents, and these were one of them. Uh, so we decided to get them. Right, right here. This <laughs> is working. There's the other one. So, uh, yeah. Rock Republic size 9, 12 bucks plus shipping. So, uh, still paying pretty good money uh, for those shoes. Uh, we just go in and find things that are name brand, and if it's name brand and it's a dollar, 99 cents, we're, we're buying it. So, not bad at all. More shoes. You know, just like shoe sellers. These are Asics uh, Gel Nimbus 22s, um, size 10. $24 plus shipping for these. We sold, we have a couple of these. They're gummy sour worms pillow. It's a pillow. Um, $12.25 plus shipping. And then the last on the list today is one of you, Dog Watch. Great viewer, longtime viewer. Bought some stuff. Thank you, buddy. We appreciate it. Dog Watch got these really cool Nike Air kid shoes. Aren't they awesome. Uh, Twenty bucks for those, and then you got a few other things uh, right here. We got some 
uh, baby hat. We got some baby bonnets and some underwear. Thank you, buddy. 40 bucks grand total for all of it. We really appreciate the business. Thank you so much. I'm going to go over one more, or two more things with you. Um, remember, yes, well, yesterday I think I talked about it briefly, but um, somebody bought both of these uh, sockets, and I said that they bought, they had paid for one and then paid for another one this morning, so um, we got to get both of those shipped out together because they wanted them shipped out together, but $25 a piece for both of those sockets. And then the last thing we're going to talk about is in this box. I'm not going to open it. You can figure out what it looks like. This is all a bunch of uh, cabbie clothes. So 40 piece cabbage cl patch clothes, some cabbage patches, um, some not, some not in great shape, some in good shape, uh, so forth and so forth. Just kind of a value pack of cabbage clothes in this box. $39 plus shipping. Hello everybody. Last day of the what sold. Friday, February 17th. Uh, another good day. Three marketplaces, The Daily Cabbage, Poshmark, and eBay. Interesting. Uh, Daily Cabbage, we obviously sold at Cabby. It's one of the many in the pile behind me. This little girl, the little football girl. Um, yeah, got a little football uniform on, some pigtails. She sold for $32.50. Bless you, mate. Uh, yeah. Poshmark continues to be quite good to us. Um, I'm saying it's this new app that's doing it, but, uh, yeah. There'll be a link in the, well, I said it at the beginning of the video, but there's a link in the description below. Posh Sidekick is the name of it. Pretty awesome. Seems to be really helping us out. Uh, we sold some shoes. So these shoes, these are Franco Sardo, part of the dollar shoe buy that we do every now and again at our Salvation Army. Uh, they're just, you know, wedge, wedges? Yeah, wedges. Size 6. Um, 15 bucks. Plus shipping. Uh, sold a shirt. This shirt. Uh, Dravis Goods. Brand new. Um, 13 bucks. Free shipping. That one got that one snuck by on us. So not making a lot of money off this guy. Uh, I didn't know it had free shipping. And a towel. I'm not gonna not gonna beat you up over. You don't wanna buy towels? Don't buy towels. We'll just continue to sell them. It's this like fish uh, aquarium, tropical fish beach towel. Um, not super old, but let's see, nineties probably, early two thousand somewhere around there. Uh, vintage beach towel, fifteen bucks for the beach towel. Put a ship it on Poshmark. Moving over to eBay. Um, interesting sales. Uh, somebody bought two of these. I don't remember where we got these. I want to say we got them in Walmart clearance. They're pool floaties. You know, with the arms and the seat and everything. They're brand new. Uh, we probably brought them, you know, when they were real cheap. I don't know what we paid for them. I don't even you know we had them until... Somebody made an offer on them. Bought two of them for $22 plus shipping. So, pretty good. Uh, I can't imagine we paid $10 for them. That's not like us. So, probably made some money there. I just don't know how much because it's been a while. Uh, sold a license plate. This is a New Hampshire, well, old New Hampshire license plate. It has been repainted. And you can tell by that. Uh... Well, those are chips. Uh, you can actually, well, the back you can actually tell. It's been repainted. See all that, like, kind of clumpy paint there? So, yeah, been repainted, so not super valuable. Ten bucks plus shipping on that. So, the menu, these are good. Uh, certainly, uh, this is in Long Beach, California. I thought it was a little closer than that. But yeah, Sam's Seafood Menu from Long Beach, California. Um, pretty cool. I'm sorry, Huntington Beach, California. Family restaurant. Wish I could see some of these meals in here because they're always humorous. But anyways, yeah, menu sell for good money if you get them. Old menus. Uh, 20 bucks plus shipping for the menu. We had someone come through and buy three... Ephemera packs off of us. 
are down here. I'm not going to bring up all three because you get the idea. It's a random mixed ephemera of some photos, maybe a postcard, some random ads, a map. Random ephemera. Three of them, all for $12. Well, I'm sorry. Two for $12.50 and one for $12. Plus shipping. So combined shipping on that, obviously. Uh, sold several cabbies. Uh, one of them... Silence the phone. That would be smart. Huh? Um, one of them is going out to one of you, one of our favorite customers and viewers, Karen. Just getting this little girl. That's right. Uh, she's a 1980s Cabbage Patch Kid with the polka dot pajamas, brown hair, brown eyes. She sold for $24. Blue shipping. Thank you, Karen. We appreciate the business, as always. And then we sold uh, a couple more cabbies, a $20, $27.50, uh, and we've got $16 and $17.50 back there, uh, $22 uh, on a cabbage patch, this one with the, like the, she's got this kind of rainbow dress on, corn silk cabbage patch, $22.50, plus shipping. So... Um, so yeah, did pretty good on the cabbage. Glad those are back to selling like normal. Uh, next up, we sold a long sleeve cable knit sweater in green. This is the top, yeah. Miro Ketty? That cardigan olive green sweater. Ten bucks plus shipping. Yeah, that's about it. That's going to wrap it up here for us this week. Um, tomorrow, me and Sarah will be live 9.30 p.m. Um, as well as next Thursday, 9.30 p.m. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And, of course, another What Sold video coming at you next week. Um, if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe and hit that like button. We'd appreciate that. And that's it till next week. We'll see you. Bye. Good day, sir.